So Notion has just released a new feature, yes, another one. I can really imagine Notion engineers be like this. So what do we have this time? What they've called better databases. Okay, so let's see what this is and how we can use it to improve our workspaces. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have separated the changes in three different categories. The first one is the layout of our databases. So the first thing that we are going to encounter is that whenever we want to create a linked database, that is no longer possible because now instead of linked databases, what we will have is linked view of databases. What do I mean by this? So now if we want to find the linked databases, this is what we get. And this is the biggest change of them all, because right now we will be able to select which is the data source of this view. Okay, so far you may be thinking, okay, this is practically what we had before, right? When we create a linked database, we will be able to select which database do we want to create the linked database from. But this is not where it stops, because let's say that the first view, I want to take the information from the tasks database, Okay, I will explain this a little bit before, but let's say that in this same view, I also want to have information about my projects and those projects are living in the projects database, which is different from the tasks. I cannot do it because whenever I create a new view, I can also select a data source and this can be different from the one that I have chosen before. So here are all my projects and here you have it. This comes from the tasks, this comes from the projects database and everything within the same block. Okay, the second thing that you probably have already seen, instead of like before, just being able to see one view, and then we will have to click here to see the rest of the views. In this new way, we will be able to see all the views at a glance. So this is much more usable from the user standpoint, because we will already know which views are in this linked database at a glance. So how am I using this in my own workspace? Here I have my focus page and before, what I was doing is to insert within each of these toggles my projects, my tasks, and my YouTube scripts, because all of them come from different databases. I cannot really show you because this is a version of February 3rd and Notion cannot really show it here. But if we now go to the current states, you can see that now there is no more toggles, everything is within the same view, and I'm getting this, the information about my projects from here then information about the tasks that I need to do today over here and my YouTube scripts are also over here. Okay, so everything is within the same view right now. Another cool new thing that we can do is, for example, let's say that I want to bring this project's view anywhere else. So before I will have needed to select everything, duplicate all the views because I cannot just duplicate one view and then move that link database to wherever and then delete the rest of the views that I don't need. But now it is as easy as just clicking here, copy link to view, and then I can go wherever, let's say here in the middle of anything, and paste this view. Here I will have the option to create link view of database, and that's it. I will have the same view as I had before. And now what if I told you that we can actually have like a repository of views within our databases. Yes, now this is possible. If we, go, we, if we go to my page, which is the backend, this is where I store all the core databases, we can have here a list of views that may be useful for people, for people in our, in our team or for even ourselves. And then what we will be able to do is whenever we are going to be creating a new view of that database, now we will call it view, if we choose that same database, the first thing that we are going to get asked is if we want to bring any of those views that we have in the core database to this view over here. We can even hover the mouse over it and we will see how this will look like. OK, so let's say that I want to have the calendar view. So I have it here. OK, so yes, this means that now we can have a repository of views that we can use all the time whenever, whatever we want. Another very good use case for us being able to copy the link to a view is, let's say, for example, that we have created a view for a person so he knows uh, which tasks he needs to get done. But we are working in a team and we want the same view, but changing just the assignee for each of the, of the people. So now we will just have to come here, copy link to view, go to that other person's dashboard, paste the link, change the assignee within the filter, and that's it. 
Another cool feature, layer related, that we also have now is the ability to hide the freaking database titles. We couldn't do it before, and this was always in the middle, which I never really understood. But now we can just click here and hide the database title. So now everything looks much more minimalistic, okay? This, of course, also applies to my focus page because I don't really care about the database that this data is coming from. So I can just hide it. I don't care that this comes from the previous database because I'm already saying here that these are projects. So this is redundant. So I can just hide everything because I don't care the databases. I just care about the information. But now probably if you have hidden the title of the database, you may be wondering, okay, how do I get it back? Okay, it is a little bit hidden, but it's here in the three dots and then in layout and here we can turn it back on, okay? Okay, another new feature is the way that Notion is now handling filters. Now, in my opinion, they're a little bit more complex, but probably it's because I haven't played with them too much and I'm not yet used to them. But now we have two types of filters, one that we can call quick filters and the other one that we can call now advanced filters. Advanced filters are the filters that we were using before, but let's see what these quick filters uh, really are. So you can see over here, that uh, I already have this filter. So everything, whenever done is unchecked, then everything appears, okay? But now I can add more filters. So let's say that I just want to see everything that is uh, undone from a particular project, okay? And it's as easy as that. But what if I want to see everything that is undone from more than this project? I can just come here and select whatever other project I want. So. As we are seeing, everything that we are adding here is acting like an OR in our previous filters. And the connection between these two filters is actually an AND. Okay, so what I see from this way of filtering now is that it is a little bit easier. In fact, I said before that it was a little bit harder, but probably I think that they are a little bit easier to create in the first place as long as the filters are quite simple. Because in here, if I want to see the estimated time that is 30 minutes, that's it. It is so much easier, in fact, to create and much more visual. I want to delete it, I just delete it, and that's it. And we go back to our previous state. So for creating this kind of simple uh, filters is quite easy. But I have found one limitation that, for example, if we want to also add date property within the filter, I don't have or we don't have uh, the possibility of adding whenever the, the due date is today. I have to select an actual date. For me, this is kind of worthless. So this is not going to be working with these simple filters. We will actually need to add this to an advanced filter, which are like exactly the same as the filters that we had uh, today. So do the this today, then, okay, then here we can do it. Okay, now what if we don't really want all of this to be always shown and we just want to merge everything into one same filter? We can do so like this and all the filters will appear here. The another change is that before, if we wanted to add more than one, let's say in this case, project inside of the filter, we would have needed to, let's go back to our normal state. We will have needed to duplicate, select the other project that we want to, to use and everything. But now with these new filters from the same row, we can add as many projects or as many whatever's as we want. So like this, our filters are gonna get much smaller. But beware, because one thing that we cannot really do is to turn this advanced filter into a simple one. So if I wanna go back to the previous state, I will have to delete this one and create it from here again. So what is also something that we can do with these new filters? We can prepare a filter and not use it. We can just leave it here. And let's say that one day I just wanna see everything that is in progress. So I will just come here, check, and then go back. Okay, so we can prepare multiple filters for different kinds of situations, and they can just be here ready just in case we need them. And now one thing that is gonna be very useful if you work with a team, which is, I don't know if you have noticed, but I have orange dot over here and a save for everyone button over here. So what does this mean? 
This means that all the filters that I've been changing has been changed just in my local workspace. So this means that if I'm sharing this with any other person, that person is not being affected by all the changes that I'm making in these filters. He will just see the changes if I save it for everyone. So before one of the main problems that companies had was that their employees would be changing filters and for, for their own views and that was kind of fucking up all the other views that the company had. So right now they will be able to do changes locally and they will not bother anyone else. Another thing that we didn't have is let's say that you find a filter that you like and after playing with it you say oh maybe we, I can save this filter in a new view. So this is also something that we can do now. We can just come here, save as new view. We can name it and that's it. We have created a new view from a view that already existed. And finally, what has happened to the properties within the databases? There is also changes. They were a little bit hidden, but I think they're gonna be very useful. So in this database, for example, I have a lot of properties, like 36 properties or more. So it's a little bit pain whenever I'm creating a new view to select which properties I want to show because I have to scroll and I have to check all the properties and all of this. But now we are able to search by property. So if I know a property that I want to show, I will just find it. Oh, status. I want it. That's it. Before we didn't have these searching capabilities. Another thing that we have now is these three dots over here that just by clicking into it, we will be able to come back to the same dialog and search for properties. Before we always needed to come here to the three dots, properties, and we're here. Okay, so we are in fact saving one click. But hey, time is money. Another thing that I love, 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 love is that now in select properties, we are able to create all the select fields within one only row. So before what we needed to do is to come here, type, and then we will go out of the field, then select again, out of the field. So it was a little bit pain. But now if we come here and edit property, we can go here to add option and we can create all of them like this. Okay, we already have this. <laughs> but now it's so much faster to, to create a new selects. And finally, something that it would have been so useful in so many times because sometimes I delete properties and I don't really understand that I do. And then I have to recreate them because sometimes I'm a little bit stupid. But now we have here in the properties, if we scroll down, <coughs> we have here all the deleted properties that we have deleted in the past and we can just restore them. This is a life saver. They didn't really promote this new feature, but I think this is super cool. Everything that can prevent us from messing with our databases is always welcome. And well, these are all the new features that I have found for these new better databases. Notion are working super, super hard getting new features to us. Because for example, in the latest conference that they've had, the block by block conference, they also released what they call a new sidebar, a sidebar that we are gonna be able to use to group by different departments in Teams or what they call synced databases that we will be able to pull data from other services such as, yes, Google Calendar. And we will be able to create a database that is going to be synced with Google Calendar. I don't know, this sounds awesome. And of course, I'm going to be here to tell you everything about this whenever it is released. But yes, if you were thinking that Notion may go somewhere, they are here to stay. That's for sure. So that is it from my side, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.